So, uh, yeah, I talked about. Sorry about that. So I'm, uh, I met with my landlord to tell him about the opening of the gallery, and uh, it went really well. He's very excited. He's really great that way, and he's agreed to put up a sign in front of the building. Uh, Phil Craig is moving out. He has the upstairs studio. He's got a big light outside saying Phil Craig Gallery. Uh, so the landlord's going to put up a sign for the entire building. So I suggested the stable studio. That's the name of the building. Uh, it'd be nice to have Gallery 155B, but that wouldn't be fair to the four other studios in the building. So I have to email people when I get back, which is going to be pretty excited about that. And the landlord and, and uh, Tanya. His, uh, his assistant will be coming on the opening on the 28th, so better make sure the space looks good. Uh, anyways, right now I am standing in front of Saw Gallery in Arts Court, and Saw Gallery has been a parallel artist-run space for in Ottawa for 25, 30 years. Uh, in fact, I was the very first uh, high school co-op student at Saw Gallery back when Saw Gallery and Saw Video were one and the same, and. Uh, that was my first exposure to contemporary art. I didn't like contemporary art when I first started here. I just wanted to get out of high school. Um, and then quickly it, it influenced me uh, a great deal. So I just saw the show in there. It's called Oil Spill, New Painting in Ontario. And uh, it's very good. It, it's a really nice show. Um, there's lots of interesting paintings. Uh, my friend Karen Rogers, one of the artists in the show, uh, talked about a couple of pieces, so I, I noted them as well. In particular, the uh, paintings of uh, gentlemen and cowboys uh, sort of either wrestling or in homoerotic uh, situations with, with Native Americans in the painting, uh, a little bit uh, disquieting. Uh, but it's very well done. It looks like anything that would be in your typical Victorian drawing room or in my sister's house or something like that. Um, some of the other paintings, you don't know whether they're mocking or uh, satiring uh, sort of commercial painting styles that you might see in uh, I don't know, some stuff like in Coinman Gallery or something like that in, in the shopping mall. Um, my mom has some Mexican mass-produced art that looks a lot like the stuff in there. So, uh, you know, sometimes you're always suspicious of whether it's tongue-in-cheek or whether it's sincere. Um, but yeah, some of them were just, uh, uh, I mean, when you feel like you've seen it before. I mean, I know the truth is supposed to be a lot like the sensation of remembering something, but so is the cliche. Uh, but on the whole, it was a really interesting and worthwhile show to go to. And uh, the Saw Gallery has, has ups and downs of shows. Some shows are just uh, uh, god-awful, and others are really innovative and really important to be here. Um, sometimes the administration changes, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. Like, hey, I guess that's going to be like with any gallery. I guess with my gallery, it's either going to be better or going to be worse and stay that way. Um, so yeah, a, a good day. I have to get back to the studio. I haven't been in there all week. I've been home working and sending out a press release. Oh, which I did send out. And uh, it went really well. Got a few responses back. People wishing well. I think I might actually have a lot of people coming to the opening, which is something you're always nervous about because in Ottawa, like I wrote about, uh, you never know. But I will send out a reminder press release uh, about a week and a half before the opening. Uh, so yeah, I feel like I'm my my uh, twisted gut nervousness, but anything public uh, has worked itself through, and uh, now I'm, I'm feel like I'm riding on some momentum. And, sort of a point of no return kind of uh, high in, in a way. So yeah, everything's good. Everything's good.